two bags of aluminum scrap. Now this is the one that's, I think is mainly aluminum, but it wasn't in the aluminum only bin. Here I have an N52 magnet. Let's see how much scrap it picks up. Not a huge amount. Whoa! Okay, tailings, money. Not really though. Safety. Last time I tried melting the aluminum chips from the shop, they all just oxidized. The result was a whole lot of this. Today, what I'm gonna try is creating a pool of aluminum first and then melting the chips in it. That way they're not exposed to so much oxygen. All the surface area is covered in molten aluminum. So we'll see, see how that works. Uh, it's negative 12 out here. So see if we can turn up, uh, see if we can Burn some propane. Okay, I turned the gas down. I got my first little bucket of chips here. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try pouring them in and see what happens. It looks like they're just kind of floating on the top, even though I tried pushing them down. Or maybe that's just all the slag that I just introduced. Hot, 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 hot. Hot, 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 That's pretty cool. All right, it's clear that I'm going to have to be a little bit more scientific to see if I'm actually gaining anything from those chips because I got lots of aluminum but also I have quite a bit of oxides oh shit 
Oh, Jesus, how deep does it go? So what? That is our yield. Our target is 2082. 188.9. I'm going to do this one at a time to make it more suspenseful. 70.1111. This is so fun. It feels like Gold mining, except nothing has any value. Six, nine point seven, two, nine, one point three. Okay. Now I need to add these motherfuckers right up. Nine, one, point three. So it looks like that was a negative yield. In other words, I lost material by adding the chips. Because I guess 100% of it fucking 
oxidizes. Who knew? And I definitely like pull out some when I skim the surface. 